Yes, so it's my great pleasure today to introduce Samuel Kopp to you to everyone. Um, Samuel is a graduate of our university. She's graduated with a Bachelor of Medical Science and majored in Anatomy and Physiology. Um, she also did go on to do further studies with other university, which um, I will leave with Samuel to talk about more. Um, so she commenced her career um, as an intern through our Jobs Off Campus program um, a few years ago. So she applied through Career Hub, um, which is really exciting. Um, and from there, she progressed her career um, by applying to a number of couple of different positions, working in multiple hospitals here in Sydney, um, and then being open to opportunities. She has now um, landed herself um, in a manager's position um, out in Canberra. Um, so she's a sleep laboratory manager at the Canberra Sleep Clinic. So welcome, Samuel. Thank you very much for joining us today. Um, and thank you for um, being able to reschedule. I know um, you had some personal matters to deal with last time. So thank you for joining us today. And um, we can't wait to hear about your career journey. Well, thank you, Perrine, and hi to everybody. Um, hope you're all um, doing really, really well. Um, I guess before before we move on, please do feel free to ask me any questions throughout the whole um, session. I'm very happy to answer. As Perrin said, my name is Samo and I am the Sleep Laboratory Manager at Canberra Sleep Clinic. Um, I guess let's wind back and I'll tell you how I actually first started. So I was just like you all, um, I'd done a medical science degree it was a three year course. Um, as, as you all know, on your last year, you ma you major up in a, in a, um, you major in either chemistry, biology or anatomy and physiology, not sure if that's changed, but back in my time I was just those three. Well, I guess what I can tell you is I was a student to begin with and I did apply for the respiratory technician position um, through Career Hub. Um, after applying, I got the job. So for six months, I was doing a respiratory, being a respiratory technician. Basically, responsibilities were um, testing patients uh, of all sorts for uh, lung function diseases. So lung diseases, asthmatics, emphysema, and so much more. Um, I'd done that for six months, and that was in a private. So I'd done that at Nepi in Lung and Sleep. Not sure if you've heard of it. Um, after doing that for six months, in a private setting, you can actually move from one position to another without a qualification. So you actually learn from scratch. And I moved from a respiratory technician to a sleep technician, um, and I learned everything from scratch, so really by the books. Um, I've done sleep technician for about a year and a half on my own. I was doing day duties and night duties as well, and we were a 24 hour operation. So I did do the night shifts plus the day shifts, so a little bit of both. Um, after doing that for a year and a half, I moved on to, I've started applying to hospitals, so I wanted to get a government job for some experience. So I've had a year and a half of really solid experience, plus with my qualifications I was I was qualified, started applying to all across hospitals and um, I got back two in return, so I got a sleep technician job at Liverpool Hospital and I got a respiratory scientist job at Westmead. So I was doing both. I was being part-time at both hospitals. Yes, I was traveling far, but it was definitely worth it. Um, I was doing lung function and we were doing arterial blood gases and six minute walks at Westmead and we were monitoring um, sleep disorders for patients overnight as well. So we were also using CPAP therapy, which is part of our treatment. So I've done that for about a good two, two to three years, two years at Liverpool and three years at Westmead. Um, it doesn't stop there. In the meantime, I was also working for a private clinic at Bella Vista. So the doctor's name was Dr. Patel. Not sure if you've heard of him, but he works at Westmead and he's got his own clinic. Um, and I was a respiratory and sleep a scientist so I was basically the right hand side of the doctor the right hand of the doctor doing everything so lung function testing sleep testing setting up patients um, and analysis of the sleep studies analysis of the respiratory studies reporting them and doctor just signs off 
um, it was also training new employees because it was getting bigger and bigger for one person jobs it was a bit too much so I started bringing in more um, employees and was training them from scratch um, and I guess after doing that for for a while I also started doing my master's so I did keep going with my qualification and in my mind I had I had a goal and I knew that I did want to manage a lab now don't worry if you don't know what you want to do right now because you won't know until you start with your experiences. I didn't really know that there was such thing as a sleep scientist to begin with or even the sleep medicine industry. So I guess what I started doing is um, I started looking at my options like, yep, I will go ahead and do further so we can open my doors for opportunities um, later on in the future for a better position. And I did, and I went in for the Masters of Sleep Medicine at the University of Sydney, and was doing that for uh, online. Um, and that worked fine, working full time, studying uh, part time. And as soon as I was, as soon as I completed my um, master's degree, I started scrolling through Seek as everyone would, and I saw a sleep. A laboratory manager position in Canberra and mind you this is all me in Sydney I was in Sydney um, back then I looked at it looked at the criteria looked at the qualifications like yep tick the boxes tick the boxes I was like let me just apply so you leave your door always always leave your doors open for opportunities ladies it is it is very important you never know where you can be in five years time did that applied one night um, and um, next morning I got an email and that is when it all started. So got an email, um, was very interested, had an interview. So I flew from Sydney to Canberra for an interview, had the interview with the general manager, Cheryl, and the director, Stuart Miller, who's a director of Canberra Sleep Clinic um, and got offered the job straight away. And um, at that time, as soon as I got the, the job, I was doing my exams for my master's. So I didn't even finish my master's yet. I was in completion. So there's, there's always possibilities. And then I started, I came to Canberra July last year. So I've been here for a year and a month now. Um, and I will recommend it. Do not regret it at all. Uh, if anything, it's, it's opened my doors more for the future and um, progress in my career. A little bit of advice as well, always keep your eye out for, for opportunities through Career Hub. Um, keep your doors open. You may not know what you want to do now, but you will know when you start experiencing. You might like the first job you get. You might not like the first five. You might like the sixth job. Keep and do not lose hope. Um, keep going. You will find what you're interested in and you will find what your passion is.